I thought something was missing all of a sudden. The you whites figure they can live on about $2,000 a month. Wow. Gas, right. food, RV park fees. They live off their dwindling savings and pick up odd jobs when they need to. Hey, look, unleaded is nine cents a gallon. Sweet. The kids are homeschooled, or as the whites like to call it, road schooled. Yes, the road does have some unusual lessons, but also an unparalleled perspective. We saw the Titanic exhibit. We've gone to Gettysburg and camped, you know, near the battlefields. We've gone ghost hunting in Salem. We've done all this amazing stuff. And I thought, man, we are learning far more than the, you know, how to catch a bug on page 22. I don't mean to be distracted, but I keep sure. looking over there, and they're they're doing some reading, and I don't know what they're reading. What are they reading? Um, Can you see? They're reading uh, just a, a Ready, Set, Read book that kind of just prompts them along reading and helps them with words and structure. And they take it on their own because we don't sit here for eight hours trying to get them to do it. This did just happen. I mean, we didn't ask them to go read. You know, we, we just happened to be talking about education. Then I look back there and they're reading this book. They're doing unprompted schoolwork. Right. It, and because it's not considered work, it's considered life in our, in our world that if it happens to be sitting there and it perks their interest, then they are just right there to live it, love it, and put it away when they're done. They say this rolling family experiment is all about learning together, working together, and playing together. Hi! We'd like to wash your car and mow your lawn today. Sounds great. But all this togetherness does pose some adult challenges. What about privacy? Boy, that was something that came out and said, well, kids, this is how it goes. And, you know, this is what this means when uh, if a door is closed or, you know, we kind of allude that we need some alone time. You have to be on the open with it because, you, you know, th th there's not a lot of room. We only have two sliding doors in the RV and they're always open. And so uh, on the one side of it, we close the doors and, and our youngest starts going, oh, they're humping again. I, mean, I would still be in therapy if I ever heard my parents <laughs> talk like this. But 14 year old Austin is clearly better adjusted than I am. I've learned a lot from them and it's not it doesn't strike me as gross sometimes but like yes it still does but <laughs> um not like the gross where i won't like just throw up about it <laughs> the kids seem to love the life they're a blast to be around and they're good at battleship i7 but they also know their life is different h6 that's, that's the hit you put this boat here okay when people meet you for the first time what are the things they ask you i mean Homeschooling. No. And, uh, First, they'll ask, "Where do you go to school? What, what grade are you in? Are? How old are you? Are you twins to me?" And yeah. <laughs> that's all. That's all my kids. Oh. How and then like, like, uh, like, how, what grade are you in? Which I get annoyed of because I don't know grades. What do you think people think when they first meet? They, they think we're, we're different. Awkward. We're awkward. They think we're different. Well, Unless it's another RV family. They're not. They're yeah. not us. All these people you say, they, they generally have the same questions when they meet you, they generally think the same things. Do you ever get sick of that? Or? It's just getting really old. It's just, you can't take it anymore. It's like so Wait, hard to what? answer them. The whites know this life is not for everybody, and they know not everyone approves. Anyone say, you know, you're crazy. A lot every day, yeah, yeah, just about. Yeah. And? So what? We are. <laughs> As opposed to not being crazy. Yeah, right. the, we um, embrace craziness. It's yeah, good it's, thing. Sure, living in the rolling turd may not be for everyone. This is kind of like Greg and I's retirement house right here. <laughs> but really, what's crazy about wanting to spend time with your family? What's crazy about wanting to experience life and America together? It turns out the whites are not alone. <laughs> you're growing so tall. <laughs> Through their wanderings and their website, the Whites have met all kinds of families who have done exactly the same thing. We did what was expected of us. We did, you know, college and the career job and the big house and the cars, and it didn't bring us anything. It was a big drain. This probably isn't what Norman Rockwell had in mind. But if home is where the heart is, why can't home be in a tin can that gets lousy mileage? Crazy? Maybe. Weird? A little. American? Definitely. So what is your American dream? We never fit in that box. Something was always sticking out, telling us, you know, this isn't working. And so our American dream now is so undefinable that it's um, it's right back here, you know, and it's 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 in our backyard. It's in our hearts. It's it's everywhere we go, every day we wake up, and every breath we breathe. That's our American dream, and it's as simple as that. I'm John Berman for Nightline on the Road.
with the Bare Naked family. Bare Naked and Simple, perhaps the new American dream. And just ahead on Nightline, blame the booze. Alcoholism seems like the hot excuse in Hollywood and in Washington.